This free skates trick should be impossible. Here's why. Hey everyone, my name is Gabe Altier and on this channel I make videos about my free skating journey. In today's video I'm going to be talking about why the inverse Tokyo trick should be impossible, specifically the inverse Tokyo throwback. Initially I tried the normal version which is where you take your back foot and move it in front of your body. This is the one most people do, but I couldn't find myself to do it. Maybe I just wasn't practicing enough. I had a point where I thought my legs were too big to actually cross each other, at least while riding free skates. I was convinced I couldn't do it. And then I saw video after video of Jun Chen doing inverse Tokyos and just adding them to her lines where her back leg would come super far forward and have her toe tilted all the way up so that the skate could come back while doing an inverse Tokyo throwback. This is the trick that seemed so impossible to me because try it right now. If you stand up out of your chair, wherever you're sitting, cross your legs in the inverse Tokyo position where your front foot comes backward in front of you and your back foot comes forward behind you. Then try and move your original front foot backward and your original back foot forward in front of you. Okay, now take that back foot that's in front of you now and crank your toe upwards so that your toe is pointing towards the sky. This is what needs to happen to the back skate in order to successfully complete an inverse Tokyo throwback. So I think what really made me learn this trick in the end was the challenge of seeing June try such an impossible looking trick, yet also approachable because it's just crossing your legs. Really just more than anything inspired me to see if I could learn it, see if I could grind and make this trick remotely smooth. And in the process, I found a way that helped me learn the trick a lot more easily. And by doing this, my flexibility improved over time. And today you're about to see where I am and my progress with this trick. So the problem I had with my inverse Tokyos when I was practicing was when I brought this front skate back, the goal was to get this back skate to come forward, right? And crank that toe up. But that's a super uncomfortable position and I was not flexible enough to do it at the time. So the result was when I tried to kick this skate forward, it would end up just sliding away from me. So my solution was if this is my limit of flexibility right here, and I want the skate to be further that way, all I would have to do is just put it on my toe. And because it's my toe that's on it, I'm easily able to drop it leaning this way so that I can slide back. So if you're practicing the inverse Tokyo or inverse Tokyo throwback, I hope that tip helped. I know it helped me at least get into it. Uh, I wasn't flexible right away, so that's why I had to make some compensations, reposition my heel and toe so that I can make it work. And eventually, I can do the trick now with my feet in a normal position because I've worked up to that flexibility by using that tip. And in the end, I found that all of this practice started to help with my normal Tokyos. Once I got flexible enough, the normal Tokyo started to become much more approachable. You could also use the toe heel tip for the normal Tokyo as well. It works both ways. I hope you got something out of this video or at least enjoyed my free skates sciency sort of rant. If you have any questions or just want to say hello, drop that in the comments, leave a like on the video, subscribe. Make sure you turn on notifications and I will see you in the next video on my free skates journey.